Since 2003, conflict in Darfur has forced more than 2 million people from their homes, many of whom now live in large displacement camps spread throughout the region. Families in camps receive food aid, but they still must gather firewood to cook their meals. Due to the size of the camps and the desert-like terrain, wood is increasingly scarce. In some areas, women walk up to seven hours to find a single tree, risking assault every step of the way. To avoid danger, some Darfuri women purchase wood from vendors by selling the very food they need to feed their families. Scientists from the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory and engineers with Outborders set out to create a stove that was energy efficient, would emit fewer pollutants, and protect them from the dangers of firewood collection. Women in Darfur provided feedback every step of the way, ensuring that the stove design met their cooking needs. After extensive field testing, the Berkeley Darfur stove requires 50% less firewood, costs only a few dollars, and is shipped in flat kits for rapid distribution in humanitarian crises. Because it requires half the firewood, a Berkeley Darfur stove pays for itself in one month, and the savings multiply with continued use. To date, more than 32,000 stoves have been distributed, impacting almost 200,000 people. But inefficient cooking stoves are a global problem, affecting more than half the planet. That's why Potential Energy partners with global leaders in development to multiply their impact and distribute our stoves throughout the world. Potential Energy, bringing life-improving technologies to people in developing nations.